Today's video is going to be packed with information about the next Battlefield title and this information comes from Tom Henderson's most recent live stream and it was about 2 hours long so I thought I'd condense it down into a nice easy to watch video that's got timestamps so you can jump around to the parts that matter to you and the only thing that I'd ask you guys if you could drop me a like and subscribe make sure you got all bell notifications on so that you do keep up to date with everything Battlefield. I'm very excited for the upcoming Battlefield game and let's hope it is a good return to the series and without further ado let's jump right into it first off tom henderson talks about how long this next battlefield game has been in development for four or five years ago i mean i think i'm pretty sure the idea has been floating around for like eight or nine years though so according to Tom Henderson, this game has been in development for about four to five years and has been an idea for about possibly ten years. So it seems as if a lot of thought and effort has gone into this title. So I just hope it translates into a really polished game. Now I was really interested about the cosmetics within the next Battlefield title because it really did concern me when Tom Henderson said on his Twitter that the cosmetics within the next Battlefield game were going to be wacky. So Tom Henderson really clears this up really well and I'm really glad that he did address this in his live stream today. How wacky is the customization in Battlefield 6? The customization thing with Battlefield 6, so this is something a lot of like news outlets and even people who did cover it was very concerned about and I think that it was misinterpreted. Um, when I meant wacky I meant because it is future tech so masks and helmets play a, a really big role. There isn't really a lot of like people's faces if that makes sense and like, bo and, like body armour and um, juggernaut suits and all this sort of stuff. Like all the armor stuff plays a, a a big role in the game. I didn't mean that it's going to be like bright pink guns and clown masks and stuff like that. So I think that it was misinterpreted. This next clip by Tom Henderson regarding the cosmetics goes into even more detail. Wacky is in you can add like night vision goggles onto your character or um, armor plates to your shoulders and you can put on a juggernaut suit and that sort of stuff instead of the, the Call of Duty route which is yeah like Putin with no t-shirt and, and clown masks and all that kind of bollocks. I think the camos do a good job of portraying the visual identity for a title so to hear that from Tom Henderson I think that is a really positive thing because I know a lot of the Battlefield community were worried and are still concerned about the cosmetics for the next Battlefield game and I think we were thinking about those sort of pink looking exotic colour schemes so to hear that it's not going to be as wacky in terms of the colour schemes I think that is a positive. Yeah it's, it's, it's like 10-15 years in the future so it's like 2030s. Or 20, it could even be 2040s, I'm not entirely sure on the exact decade, but it's to me it looks more 2030s than, than anything else. We had previously heard from Tom Henderson that it was going to be a near future modern title, and to hear that it's more 2030s than more in the future, I think is a positive thing, because I think a lot of players want to see a more modern title. So we are going to expect some more experimental weapons, I think, and more experimental technologies, and things like drones and things like that are going to be expected in the next Battlefield game. Now I'm sure everyone at home was wondering... Can I change my gender in the next Battlefield game? And I thought I'd include this because I thought he was, he, his answer was quite interesting. So I'll just let this clip roll. Can I choose my gender? Now this is something... I, I didn't want to cover the gender stuff because... Yeah, gen, yeah. I mean, we, we all know how it goes with video games for some weird reason. But I think the idea behind all of the armor and the helmets and stuff is that it doesn't matter if you're going to be a female or male character it's like you can't really tell all of the character models that i've seen is like full armor so it doesn't matter if you're male or female it just doesn't matter now i'm not putting words in tom henderson's mouth here but it just kind of seemed almost like ea were adding armor to cover the fact that there's women in the game i don't know just seemed kind of weird will there be jetpacks within the next battlefield game no jetpacks or anything right. No, there's no jetpacks. Um, there is wingsuits. I'm not sure if they're going to come to the core game or come to... Best bet is that it's 
probably going to come to the game in Battle Royale like Blackout where you had a wingsuit to, to glide down. Now I'm sure a lot of people are wondering will this game come to PS4 and Xbox One because the, the overwhelming majority of people on consoles right now own those machines and Tom Henderson weighs in on this topic. I mean to be honest with the stuff that they've got going on in the game to me it just seems impossible that they're going to release it on past generation consoles which is a bit bit of a bummer because then it's like this huge massive game that could compete against Call of Duty isn't going to compete with Call of Duty because Vanguard is likely to be on past generation consoles so the numbers straight away just aren't there for for um, Battlefield and that's pretty much why they need they need Battle Royale in my opinion but it does seem as if the next Battlefield game is going to be supported for years to come, which will be brilliant if this is a great return to the series for Battlefield. And hopefully it gets a proper live service, not like we saw with Battlefield 5, because Battlefield 5's live service was not good enough. The next Battlefield game needs to be supported properly with proper good content constantly to keep players engaged with it. So hopefully that's what we see in the next Battlefield game this battlefield title is going is that it's going to be supported for quite a while so it's going to be supported for between three and five years um, and then obviously things can change well maybe uh, more than that based on whatever they've got coming out if if battle royale for example is this is insanely popular thing where they can make a lot of money from it and convert users over to the the premium game then it's it's one of those those things now, I know a lot of people are concerned about a skill-based matchmaking system within the next Battlefield game, so Tom Henderson does give us a brief overview of this within the next game, but it seems to me that it's more or less going to be like a, a team balancer, so if one team's dominating, then it will start switching players over to sort of counteract that and make sure that everyone has a decent experience. But to me, it seems like we will get a server browser. Anything regarding skill-based matchmaking in the next Battlefield side? Yeah, it is. So it's just like Battlefield 5, right? Where it's server-based skill-based matchmaking. So how it works is that with Battlefield, it's different because it's more so where you get into the game first and then the server decides which team you're going to be on. So it's like it, it's completely random, but then it's like if the, the matchmaking sees that Team USA has an average of 0.8 KD and Team Russia has an average of 0.9 KD but you have a 2 KD that you'll go on to the 0.8 KD of the US team because then that'll increase the average and, and balance it out that way. I thought I'd end this video by just talking about the reveal trailer and then I'll also talk about things that I didn't get into this video and give you some extra details. So stick around to the end of the video and if you haven't already, drop us a like and subscribe and make sure you have all bell notifications on. Does the trailer contain gameplay? So it is all gameplay, it's just captured from a cinematic view. But that's what I was talking about with the Battlefield 5 trailer is that it's somewhat like that that it's captured from a cinematic point of view um and i think there is there is the first person from the jet and then there is an there is a like literally a second where like you're in some kind of vehicle i'm not sure if it's like a, a jeep or a helicopter or or whatever perspective is from like a helicopter and then i think there is like one second where you're in a different vehicle so the reveal trailer will have in-game footage, but it's going to be a cinematic look, similar to what we see with every other Battlefield reveal. Now, I just wanted to end this video just giving you extra details from the live stream. So this is all from what Tom Henderson said, but it's just extra details that I couldn't quite fit in to the full length video. So I'll start off by saying we might get fortifications. We might get soldier dragging. Um, he said 100% confirming that we will have crash animations within the next Battlefield game. So that's interesting. We saw that in the reveal trailer of Battlefield 5, which basically means that the planes hit the ground, but it doesn't kill you instantly. It just leaves a massive trail of destruction, but it gives you a time to kind of get out your, of your aircraft. But I think it's going to be mainly down to helicopters that crash and not things like jets. He said, we will probably get a remake of Metro. He said, weapon customization has changed quite a bit. He said that we're going to get random weather 
every game, which makes it all feel different. So it could start off sunny, then change to rainy. We'll have weather changing throughout the, the game as well. So it could change night to day, or it could be night throughout the game. It could be day throughout the game. So it's all this idea of just making it feel fun and different, I guess. And he talks about the fact that there's going to be new melee animations, same TTK as BF5. And he says... And the final thing that I do want to leave you with is there's probably no gore in the next Battlefield game. So that was pretty much everything that was said in the live stream with Tom Henderson. And I thought I'd condense it down so that you could get all the information from that live stream. And hopefully this was useful for you guys. And if you could drop me a like and subscribe and make sure you have all bell notifications on. Let's hope that the return to the series is a great one. And until next time, have a good one.